on board, here board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> Okay, let's cut to Nox arriving in the fight between Nox and Google Orgran. Just like in can Google Orgran had everyone sent away. Only thing is, when he dies, well, technically dies, Izuku notices how much it hurts Anami. But he is filled with new hope when it comes to the fact that Oh, wait, yeah, we don't die. We just get reincarnated. Yeah, that's what happened to, happens to, to dragons and healer tropes. We don't really die, die, but... <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Sorry for all the tears and wit works. In which, yeah, they go do their training. You go and itemize while Izuku helps, you know, warn the Sedata Kingdom. One thing is, when Dali is getting insulted, Izuku, he joins in the fight <laughs> with Dali. To a point where, yeah, we don't, he doesn't have to go all out like he did before. Rublex wanted Dali to lose his mind, but Izuku was there to knock him around a few times and fix that, so... Magdalene's bow doesn't get broken yet. What ends up happening when it comes to Nox showing up is while Izuku and the others are pretty much getting everything ready for the attack, Dali decides to have his hero moment. By the time everyone notices that he's gone, he's already face to face with this crazy ass automaton. Izuku being able to take out several of them with in a real easiness, especially having like with to uh, pierce them and rather than around and destroy them, crush them, all that loveliness. It's when Dally gets killed. Yeah, that still happens. That Izuku loses his mind. So, <laughs> you go, am I? They're still in the clock. When Yugo notices, oh wait, Dally's gone, gone. Only thing is, Izuku bursts onto the scene and uh, leaves a giant hole on the inside of the clock. As he is full with rage, you can feel the whole intensity of the moment as he's pretty much out for blood. And I tries to talk him out of it, but Izuku's already gone. And Nox, though he wanted Izuku to be here, he was not ready for what was going to happen. Him instantly doing this time freeze, trying to give the upper hand. I said trying doesn't work. 
In fact, it's him, Adamai, and Yugo. They are being the shit out of Nox because he can't keep up with Izuku even with his time stop, time freeze, whatever. So he has no choice but to use underhanded tactics, use the whole Eli Cube, his whole automatons that he has left in the clock to pretty much jump Izuku and ambush him. While he takes a sword and stabs it right through Izuku's chest. And you can imagine it's bad enough that you go saw, at least felt, Dally die. He and I, my witness, Izuku being ran through with a sword, and it sticks out clean through to the other end. So, uh, yeah, that's not a good look. If you thought Yugo was pissed before, that is nowhere near compared to how he is now. The sheer brutality that is Nox's ass whooping is an understatement. It only gets me more weird when Izuku starts to walk towards Nox as he is on the ground coughing up a storm. So, he pulls out the sword. Despite you going, am I saying that's stupid, you're going to die that way. Is... Let's see how he likes it. He's like, stabbing Nox through his chest, nailing him to the whole damn clock. He is immobilized. And then they notice something off. They see the energy of Wakfu, but then they also see one for all. As then it expands to a point where the Elu Cube is right there. It's absorbing this and it's starting to react to a point where it explodes. And within the explosion, the clock is destroyed. Yugo, Amai, and Izuku are pretty much on the other side. <laughs> Heavily injured. When it comes to Nox, he still has the sword through him. One thing is, he starts to slowly rust and change, age, as you could say. Them not knowing how this happened until they look at Izuku. His wound is closing up. He doesn't. Wait, I can breathe again. Wait, how is this happening? Them looking and seeing the Waifu being drawn in from Nox and entering Izuku. Wait, what the hell happened? Then Izuku's. Wait, don't tell me. And then he. Focuses on Nox. And then he starts to notice, oh, wait, now I have time powers? Wait, how does that work? And then he's just looking around, okay, to see what else I can do here. Because he wants to study this. He wants to see. Then he's like, wait. And then he turns around. Remembers, Personal's dead. Wait, maybe I can. He just jets towards Personal's body. Evangeline, Amalia, they are crying over this poor guy. Rightfully so. That's when Izuka just pushes them out of the way. He says, hold on. Let me try my magic. As sadly, Izuku can't. If anything, he reverts the personal back to pristine condition. He just can't resurrect him. As he is pissed. He's trying his best to find a way. Come on, let me try to save him. I won't. 
how how come this is not working? He didn't die that long ago. His soul should still be somewhere around here. Is yes, Evangeline, she is crying even harder. Not just because he's dead, but Yusuku got a new power that doesn't work. Something that reverses time. And even that won't work. To the point where she pushes Izuku out of the way, yelling at him for giving her false hope. But then they're going back and forth until she pretty much yells like, what good are you if you can't do this? Izuku did not take that lightly. No, 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 not at all. How bad did he take it? He says, well, sorry that you guys are so weak that you need me to fix all your problems. Izuku flies off in anger. Evangeline realizing what she said, despite everything Izuku's done to help and everything, forgetting, like, that's right, he's, it's not his fault he can't help. Yeah, it's too late now. He's already long gone and no one can catch up to him. When you go, I might show up, they see, like, wait, is he, is he back? Is he? Seeing the tears, so it didn't work. I'm sorry. It's like, no, no. Don't do that. Find Izuku. I said some terrible things. What? Wait, what, what, what did you say? Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you should not have said any of that. Heck, you're lucky he wasn't too mad, or, or else he would have killed you. He wouldn't. Yeah, you're right. Seriously, you need to find him and apologize. Uh, yeah, I do. Only thing is, Izuku is not having it. He goes so far away that he does not, and I mean does not, even give a damn. Much to the point where he's isolated himself. It's bad enough that he was brought to this world against his will. It's bad enough his friend died, but to be, technically be... Oh! I, the sheer amount of anger causes him to destroy a damn mountain. Now, that should be the end of season one. Now we're at season two, where a year has passed. And as you can imagine, Izuku still doesn't feel like uh, talking with Evangeline. Because of the whole thing, the person is still alive. Ugh. He doesn't know about that yet. He hasn't talked to anyone else. Only thing he's been doing is training as much as he can, hoping that he can at least get strong enough and possibly find a way home because he is sick of this bullshit. Much to my, okay, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. What really sucks is the fact that Evangeline has not apologized to him, hasn't been able to say everything that she wanted to say. She was just saying everything out of anger. She didn't mean it. You know how that goes. Never, never spout shit when you're angry. So you sure as hell can't take it back when it's all out in the open. Alright, now where was I? Ah, yes, yes. 
Season two. So when it comes to Izuku's little uh, training session, he's learned how to at least fix things that haven't uh, that aren't too permanent. Still can't bring anyone back to life, sadly. But at the very least, he scours the globe as a healer. The only thing is, he does give people advice, like, uh, okay, let's not, repeat, not continue this habit, unless you want to be healed again. Which people do, they, uh, okay, who, who are you to tell me what I can or can't do? I'm the doctor. I'm your doctor. Oh. Oh, yeah, right. That, that that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, sorry. No? Bro, listen to your damn doctor, especially if I know what I'm talking about. I can't keep... I can't really help you like this. Uh, if anything, I, I helped with the symptoms, but if you keep going how you go, and chances are it's going to happen again, and I'm not going to be here to help. People have asked him about his powers, but he just stays all cryptic, trying to not draw too much attention to himself. That is until a certain someone by the name of Hugo just so happens to bump into him. Oh. Hey, brother. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so what is it? What do you want? Um, uh, she's sorry. <laughs> who, who? Who's sorry? And for what? Ava. She's been talking about personnel again. That has nothing to do with me. We know. We. We. As yes, she shows up right behind him. I know it's not your fault what happened. You're damn right it's not my fault. But I didn't stop you from talking all that shit. I know, but I was angry. Yeah, I know. I understand being angry. But I doesn't give you any excuse to act the way you did. Well, listen. Amalia won't listen to me about this whole Dally situation. We, well, I think he's still alive. It's just that he's in... What? His, his soul is... <laughs> Are you crazy? Do you know how dangerous that place is? That's why I need your help. I really could use your help. You're, you're really gonna be like this. You know what? At the very least, I, uh, I don't see why not. Her face lights up hearing this, because, yeah, Amalia won't help her. Yeah, that sucks. That's terrible. But it might help to have Izuku there too. Maybe he can convince Amalia. At the very least, he's the most level headed, and even he knows. Yeah. Chances are, if, he, if now he's gone, he is gone. But 
thanks to this. Thanks to Izuku actually saying, okay, why, why not at least give it a shot? It's crazy as hell, but... Mm, we've done crazier things. So they head down to pretty much, you could say, limbo or hell. Much of these of you is like, oh my god, what am I doing? Luckily, thanks to his overpoweredness, this is, it's a lot easier. <laughs> due, due to the sheer fact that he is an absolute powerhouse and will not, repeat, will not take any prisoners if given the option. His only issue is what to do if anyone else gets captured? What shall he do? How will he do this? Oh wait, that's right. He's going to kick some ass! So the uh, luckily able to get Dally Soul without much issue. If anything, seeing them happy again, Dally is like, oh my god, I can't believe I'm free after all this time. Thank you. You go just very little. Oh, it's nothing, it's nothing. Not knowing that Dally is just talking to Ava, just telling her thank you, giving her the praise. Which hurts his pride a little bit. Now, with Dally back in the ranks, everyone is a okay and hell, hell happy. Hell, even Adam I can't help but just celebrate once he gets the news. Now, when it comes to Kelby, that still happens. Do the Adamai and you go fooling around with powers that you do not completely understand. Though, yes, the Elite Cube is rightfully theirs, they're still children. So, yeah, that's not good. That's not good at all, sadly. Kelby is still freed, and you can just imagine the whole Izuku does not. <laughs> Trust him for some reason, like, okay, so he was trapped in a dimension or whatever for some reason. I might, he just, he's just quick to, like, dude, what the hell, just calm down. There's nothing to worry about. He's one of us. Look, he, he's our brother. Yeah, yeah, he is our brother, I guess. No, I mean, me and Hugo. Heck, I'm your brother, too. Uh, oh, come on, I'm, uh, you know we're thick as thieves here. Yeah, yeah, we are. He's a good just feeling like, okay, that's, that's kind of weird. I mean, then again, he is, he hasn't seen another either trope or drag or anything in a while, so, oh well, I'll let that slide. Now, when it comes to fighting Kelby's Dofus, uh, Izuku is still wondering, okay, so this is, this is how we're going to do things, huh? We're just going to openly trust this guy. You don't have to go. <sighs> yeah, I guess not. I suppose we don't have to. But still, something doesn't feel right. Really? I might just... What, what, why don't you trust him? We do. Right, you? Yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, he's in the trope too. I mean, <laughs> of course he's trustworthy. He's a girl pretty much being the odd man out. 
Very well. Uh, you guys can handle this, right? You don't need my help? Oh, no. Uh, we, I don't, we don't suppose we do, but it would be nice to have you. His group stayed. And just to watch over Kelby, make sure he's safe and whatnot. You know, Google or Grand is still been recently reincarnated, so why not? So, everything else on Yugo and their side is normal, as it would be before. Izuku and Adamai, it gets weird. Nothing too weird to the point where it's like, okay, I don't feel welcome here. Weird to the point where Adamai is just constantly asking Kelby more questions. And Izuku being a third wheel. Like, you know those friends who just want to hang out and everything. But you're with someone else who you're trying to spend time with. That's Izuku. He's trying to be a part of the conversation. He wants to help. Uh, but he can't really do anything. But then when they start telling stories, Izuku mentions how he somehow gained Nox's time abilities and almost perfected them. Kelby is... Instantly interested. It's like, okay. So you can absorb other people's power? Uh, well, technically, that was an accident. I don't even know how I did it. Really? I mean, yeah, I mean, this sword, just taking out Nas's sword that he used to stab him. Is that, where'd you oh yeah Haven Bad <laughs> oh believe me they, those things really come in handy you acquired a, oh yes Ugh, really comes in handy whenever I, I travel and don't want to sleep outside or in an inn but still so uh, you want to know more about my newly acquired abilities? Yes. I would like to know a lot more about these abilities that I just so just recently heard about. Hearing that Izuku, honest to God, can rewind people to a certain point, Nox's over. Nox's powers are a lot more versatile in Izuku's hands. Much to Kelby and Amai's pure shock, just thinking, wow. I mean, yeah, he could stop time, he could advance it, as well as rewind it, but seriously, you use it mainly for healing. Yes. I'm a traveling, uh, actually a traveling doctor. <sighs> if anything. I thought it would come in handy just in case someone got poisoned or something, you know? So, you don't know how you got these powers. All you know is that you stabbed Nox. Well, the Elia Cube had something to do with it. Really? Yeah, it caused an explosion in which me, Hugo, Adamai, and Nox were just caught up in it. Luckily, we weren't too severely injured. In fact, him just showing a scar from where he was stabbed. So you healed yourself. Yeah, that's why I figured out that I had these abilities. But why do you have a scar? Ugh. I want to hang on to it. I mean, yeah, I could just get rid of it, 
but I don't want to. Huh. Interesting. Very interesting. So, do you want to help me with something? Uh, help, help you. Uh, how, how would I be of any help? I mean, this is you good show up in dragon business, isn't it? Am I just like, that's right, you shouldn't even be here. You, if anything, you could have just helped you go and the others go get the dope foods, but no, you decided to stay. Heck, who knows, they probably would have been here by now with the dope food. You would have just gone with them. Now, where am I? That is not necessary. But for at least, we now know that uh, young Izuku here is full of talents. As yes, this is pretty much when Adamai gets pushed aside and Kelby starts taking even more interest in Izuku. In fact, when it comes to the whole. I might have a way to get am I, me and you go back home as soon as I get the dofus. I'm yeah. <laughs> Izuku is more than willing to help. Only thing is Toby is not telling him anything about the plan. If anything, he's just like I'll let you know when I need you. Just Sit tight. Now, when it comes to the whole... Whew, you can say... Betrayal. Of Kelby. Maybe like this. Izuku gets not unconscious. Kelby, revealing his true intentions of siphoning every bit of power from this world. But then he's like I don't I don't need the whole world anymore. Possibly not. You I just need you and the Ilya Q pretty much. And the Dofus won't hurt. Izuku is in pure shock. Or anyway, what are you doing? Why are you doing this? Like, I told you, I wanted to go home. <laughs> Seriously. Hey, I'm... And just imagine how happy they'll be to see me again. <laughs> However, then I my shows up. He's a good, He's like, oh, thank God. Am I? You have to stop him before... He does anything else crazy as... Kelby, what are you doing? I thought this would be over by now. Uh... What? <laughs> oh, you see... Uh, Midoriya, I've... already told Adamai about my plan. What? Yeah, I told him about this contraption in which, yeah, at first it was going to require a lot of energy to the point where it will destroy the world just to send us back. But having you here and uh, your yeah, Cuban dofus that, yeah. Uh, am I? Uh, y you gotta understand. I, I want to see my family again. I want you go and I to be with our family again. You understand, right? Making, I just want to, can you make this one sacrifice for my family? You want me to be a battery? Well, uh, for how long? How much energy do you, this thing really need? How do you know I have it? 
<laughs> oh, don't play dumb. Yeah, you are a lot more special than what people would assume at first glance. Oh my. Please don't do this. Come now, Anime, this. Let's prepare for everything else. Izzy Ziku is left there. Hooked up to wires and all that nonsense. Him pinned down, can't even move. For some reason, he can't even use Black Whip to even escape. Oh, damn it, he must have drugged me. It's only when am I starts to really contemplate huh. is this really the right thing to do of course I mean we want to get home right we want to see our family yeah yeah so you must realize that sometimes sacrifices Need to be made. Prices paid. <laughs> Luckily, it's just one person. And this whole world would not have to be used for a, a one way trip. Am I just trying to think, is this really what I want to do? What is the Yugo going to say? Oh. <laughs> Oh, you can't tell him. I mean, he should just be happy to know that he, we can go home. That's it. Uh, think of it like this. Once someone's at the finish line, enjoying the spoils, do they really care about what it took to get there? Afterwards? I, uh, exactly, exactly, thank you for, for understanding. Then Amai has no choice but to really go along with this and see how this goes. Only thing is, one night he hears a lot of screaming and yelling. When he goes down to see what's going on, he sees Izuku in, in measurable pain. He has skewers sticking out of him. He is being electrocuted every five seconds. Kelby is just writing down notes and monitoring his progress. So you never said this was going to hurt him. Oh, I didn't? Like, no, you said it's going to be quick and painless. Oh. Well, this is going to hurt him. <laughs> Don't worry, seriously. Ugh, he'll get used to the pain sooner or later. Gilby just having uh, am I leave with him. Well, he, he looks at the pissed off expression of Izuku. This doesn't feel right. Well... Think of it like this. Do you want to go home? Do you want to see everyone else? Y yes. Yeah, I do. Good. In that case, let's finish what we started. All right. In fact, why don't you help me prep him? What? Oh yes, you go and the others will be back soon. We don't want uh, any unnecessarily, you know, worry them. You know, we don't want no interruptions. Uh, I, I don't think I can. Oh come on, we made it this far. It's almost. Just a little bit more time, and that's it. The preparations will be made, 
and all we would need is the dofu. That's it. So come on. You shouldn't be that much longer anyway. Am I joining Kilby? As Izuku is just looking. Please let me go. Adam, I. I uh, can't. I, I'm doing this for my family. You, you know? You understand that, right? You, you would do anything for your family too, right? <laughs> as, yeah, as Alma is walking away, Izuku can't help it. Look down and say this. My mistake. I thought we were family. And the door closes behind Adamai. He has no choice but to contemplate what is he really doing. They could possibly be found another way by now, but no, they're they just stuck with this instead of trying to find another solution. To the point where even Kelby is just, oh man, don't tell me you're going to betray me. After all we've been through. Uh, wait, what, what if this doesn't work? Excuse me? Yeah, think about it. What if, what if he doesn't have enough power to fuel it? <laughs> oh. No, 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 what? You don't have to worry about that. What? Oh, yes, as soon as the serum actually kicks in, we'll have more than enough power to go home and come back for multiple round trips if we need to. What? Oh, yes. See, though, yes, uh, Yamadoria's power is extraordinary one thing is it i don't believe it's completely without drawbacks i mean he is only human so i decided to make a little something just to a in the whole powering him up process uh, what did you do? what did you do me what did we do? We were in this together, Adam. I come on. Think about it. After all we've been through together, yeah, I can see the finish line right now. It's so close. We can't stop now. What did you do? As then I might burst through the doors and look at Izuku. It's like we, I have to get you out of here right now before. This is about the time when he starts convulsing in pain, realizing it's too late. Then Izuku starts to sprout wings from the top of his head as he slowly go down into reaching all the way to his back. His eyes glaze over as he starts to grow fangs. His skin becomes more scaly to the point where he is screaming, What have you done to me? Kelpie is clapping and just so impressed and admiring his handiwork. I can't believe it actually worked. <laughs> What have you done? Oh, I just made him better. You see, thanks to me, we won't ever have to worry about power ever again. You made him an Iliotrope? Wrong, sir. I made him better than an Iliotrope. I made him into a dragon Iliotrope hybrid. 
well, if you count the whole him being human, I guess you could call it a tribrid? Question mark? Either way, thanks to this, he is as just as immortal as we are. Or at least he should be. <laughs> well, the thing is, huh, he doesn't have a dofus, does he? Hmm. And then again, we'll see how that happens after he dies. What? Oh, oh yes, he is going to die being a battery like this. Though, yes, he will expend a lot of energy powering of this contraption. Thanks to me, he should be able to revive himself, or at least reincarnate. This is wrong! Oh, this is progress. Do you realize who, the, the marvel that just is right there? Have you ever seen anything so beautiful? Izuku screaming and yelling, saying, let me out. Am I still wondering, oh my god, what have I done? Kill me. <sighs> I could never have done this if it wasn't for you. <sighs> now if you would excuse me. I do believe it's time for me to catch some shut eye, don't you believe? As yes. Am I is locked out of the lab. Everywhere that Kelpie gave him access to beforehand. Izuku is pretty much mulling over what the hell has happened to me. But he's also very much pissed. Because he trusted Am I? He trusted Kelby, just not as much as am I. Though he is happy that he was right this whole time, he is beyond upset due to the fact that am I chose them over him. He would rather actually have a way home than just find a more long-lasting solution and whatnot. He wanted to take a shortcut. And this, of course, pissed him off. But he doesn't have the strength to break out of this. Not yet, anyway. So, before the fighting really begins, Izuku is stewing in negative emotions. But as soon as fighting does commence, you go as well, as well as everyone else. They find him in there. See what he's become. And Adam I is apologizing a lot. Saying that Kelby tricked him, trying to trying to shift some of the blame. But he didn't expect Izuku to be fully awake to call him out on his bullshit. He's lying. He knew this was happening. But he cared about getting home more than me. I might try and justify it, but he would have used the whole planet if it wasn't for Izuku. This is when you go like... But look at him! What did you do? Kelby turned me into a tribrid. Of what? Izuku just showing his glowing wings just on his back. It's, you're, you're a dragon heliotrope and human tribrid am i how could you
you let this happen? I, I, I wanted to go home. That's all. And, and this way, this was the easiest way to do it. We didn't have to worry about hurting anyone. You're hurting Izuku. He's, he's family. I, wouldn't you like to see everyone? Yes, but this is, this is not how you do it. We could have found another way. Together. But, you do this? Look at him. Regardless of what you pl were planning, this is too much. Look at all the wounds he has. He's... He smells like he's been cooking. Someone's been frying him up. How could you let this happen? All because you want to go see everyone. I get that, but you should have waited to have my input to ask me, is this something I wanted? Instead of just thinking I wouldn't care. I didn't even know about you. Until Nox became an issue. I didn't know what I was. I've known Izuku for so long. He was more of a brother than you are. As Adamai finally feels the full scope of what he's done through this selfish, trying to be a noble action. But once the fighting begins, they have no joy but to actually free Zuku. Even though he hates Adamai's guts right now. He's not even looking at Adamai. Hugo runs in and hugs him. Apologizing for not believing in him. Not listening to Izuku's... Uh, something doesn't feel right about Kelby speech. And yeah... Right, thank you. So, how was the journey? Oh, uh, a lot happened actually. But this then, the shoe shoes and everything start to interrupt. Pretty much being like a portal to hell, and the shit just hit the fan. Luckily for Izuku. He is chopped up on rage. So he is ready for a fight. Like no other. Oh yes he knows. He doesn't have much stamina left. He can do at least one thing. And then he summons a portal. As everyone's looking like, what, what is this? Like, just follow me. Like, ah, uh -uh. no, 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 no. We, I am not doing that. No. It's like, what, why? We can't go into your portals. We'll get sick. Oh. Oh yeah, that's right. Huh. I, I am sorry. I forgot about that. Huh. No, no, it's fine, but. They be like, uh, okay, then in that case, uh, you go. Come with me. Uh, oh, okay. Am I about to walk through the portal too? Like, not you. I'm still pissed off at you. I, I'm sorry. 
No. Uh, I'm sorry you didn't see me as your family. And that's pretty much how that whole <laughs> reaction goes. I might just looks at you go just reaching out to him. You go just pulls his hand away. We'll talk when we get back. So Adamai is left alone. While Kelby is pretty much planning his whole Alright then let's let's see what there is to do here. I have held my end of the bargain. Now you guys can wreak havoc. Well I go home. Do great perfect Izuku Upon realizing oh my god it is hell on earth. Do you know what this means? We had to save everyone? Yes, but do you have any idea how long it's been since I had a good fight? You go just wondering, like, so where are we? On my homes away from home. As there is an armory, there is a kitchen, bedroom, a whole little hideout that Izuku has created within a mountain just for this occasion. The only thing is, like, okay, if anything, this is gonna be kind of weird. I'm not used to really having portals. <sighs> but at the very least, maybe I should just seal this place up. What? Oh yeah, so I mean, think about it. Heck, now that I have portals, I don't really need a door. Huh. Actually, yeah. But seriously, won't, won't it be kind of weird when you have guests? <laughs> guests. Oh, you were serious. Well, it wouldn't be much of a hideout if I had too many guests. Especially if people knew about it. But I trust you, you go. Really? Oh yeah, of course I do. We're brothers. Family. Even after what I am idea that that was Adamai's decision. Not yours. <sighs> I don't know what he was thinking. But, but time will tell if I forgive him, if he deserves it. As yes, they suit up with weapons, armor, all sorts of goodies, and just put it in the haven bag. And Izuku is pretty much, you do know there's a chance we won't survive this. Yeah. So, you want to say goodbye to anyone? <sighs> there will be no goodbyes. Because we're all making it through this. <laughs> Always the optimist. Besides, I have so many stories to tell you about our travels. So make sure you don't die. You better not die either, little brother. The fight is complete bullshit. To the point where Izuku is dive bombing all these shushu. When it comes to, let's see, what is his name? Anathar? Or was it Agathar? When it comes to him and uh, possessing Adamai, that does happen. Only thing is, Izuku still feeling salty, but also wanting to save Adamai is more than happy to beat the ever loving shit out of him. Saving Adamai, but also letting off some steam and some bad blood. When it comes to Anathar, he's pretty much. I can't believe this. 
Come on, show me your powers. Oh. <laughs> What's so funny? Yeah, my brother, you, you go to the... He's told me about you. What? So, if you don't mind... I'm going to refrain from using any real powers. I'm just going to beat the ever-loving shit out of you. Really? Oh, yeah. If anything, who knows? Maybe after this, I'll be your new guardian. Saying Izuku is having a stern look on his face. Oh, you're not joking, are you? Nope. As it is to complete another one sided ass whooping, Anathar is forced to concede defeat, and Izuku <laughs> grabs him and pretty much makes it so, oh, yes, we are sealing you in something sturdy. I will do this myself. As yeah, as you can imagine, the fight with Kelby is all all the same. Only thing is, Izuku is luckily there to lend a helping hand, or at least a helping fist. Though he does love the new powers, he is still very upset when it comes to Kelby's mistreatment. And when everything is said and done, Izuku, he still won't look at Anamai. Even though Anamai tries to apologize, Izuku sprouts his wings and flies off. Anamai being just looked down upon by everyone as they just turn their backs on him. <laughs> 